Hi, this is John again, the owner and developer of Vectordex. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how you can create the different type of render textures within Vectordex resource palette. One thing I do when I'm working with any new textures or symbols or anything that's Vectordex specific, I always want to start out with a fresh new Vectordex document. So I'm going to close out of this document and go to New and make sure you're working in the Vectordex stationary. That way you're going to have all the current textures, you're going to have all the current classes, and you don't have anything else in the document that you brought in from any other files. And then when you're finished with the work, and you'll be able to save it as a stationary again and you'll always have it available to you. Now we're ready to create a new render texture and apply that T color we just created. RenderWorks stores all the different textures for any given document within its resource browser. What I did for the Vectordex stationary document is I defined all the different rendered textures with a V and a dash. You see them all here. And that way they're easily identifiable to vector decks. And now we're going to add that teak finish to this list. There's two ways of doing this. You can either go to that little triangle in that resources and select a new resource and scroll down to the render textures and this window pops up and then you be creating this new texture but you're going to have to make sure you set these defaults to match for example that decking that we had you want them all to be the same but I found that easier just to go ahead and, and if you're working on for example the 2x6 type finish just select any of the existing textures that have that 2x6, for example here, the um, composite gray 2x6. You can either select it and go up to that menu and duplicate it here, or you can just I right click and duplicate. Then rename it, and we're gonna rename this the composite teak. And for um, default, they always seem to add a, if there's an ending number, uh, Vectorworks adds another sequential number to it. So we want to make sure this is 2 by 6 Then click OK. Now you need to go back in and make sure that's selected, because by default it's still got its gray selected. Uh, now I'm going to go in and right click and edit that particular texture. Now we're presented with the same defaults as all the 2x6 vector decks type textures have. The 5.5 inch, the 5.5 inch. The only thing we need to change here is the image. So what you need to do is click on that edit and then change image. Uh, we need to have this checked. Import an image file. Click OK. Now you may have to scroll back into that file that you have with all the different kind of textures. I was working on it so by default it popped up here. Then we're going to just select that teak 2x6 finish that we created and open. You'll see it'll change here to that teak. Everything else can be left the same. Click OK and that's it. Now we've created a texture with the color teak uh, defined as a composite teak 2x6. Click OK. Now we need to do the same thing to the 2x4 and the teak trim. So I'm going to come up here and find an existing 2x4 finish. Duplicate it. Uh, let's rename this teak. Change that to a 2x4. Click OK. Go ahead and select it, edit, change that image. If you notice here, it's a three and a half by three and a half. It's always a good idea to 
use that duplicate. That way you're matching everything in the file that you already have by size. Select that uh, Teak 2x4 that we created. Click OK. Click OK and you got that Teak 2x4. The last thing is that trim. So let's just select any trim. Again, duplicate it. Teak trim. Go away with that too. Okay. Make sure you select that teak. And change that image. Change image. And select that trim. There we go. And that's it. Now we have a new file that's um, teak trim. I double check sometimes, make sure the colors correspond. Sometimes I I edit the wrong file, so I'm going to go back and just double check here. The 2x4, teak, and we should have a 2x6 teak. There we go. Now, in order to have access to those new teak textures we just created, within the vector decks menus, we need to create classes and then assign those classes, those textures we just created. We'll go over that in our next tutorial.